guys, I'm here today with Dr. Jen, the renowned, brilliant pediatrician from New York City. And what we're going to do today is get a few insider tips from the doctor of things that you should know that you probably don't already know. All right, number one, tell me about honey. Honey is great, not just as a food, but actually, as we know now, that it works really well to suppress coughs. So for kids who are coughing at night, it works better than all those over-the-counter medicines, which I say throw out because okay. they can be more harmful than good. But honey, if your child is over one, a spoonful of honey at night or even in some tea can really help suppress a cough. Now, why over one? Oh, because under one, there's a risk of botulism, an infection from these spores that can be in the honey and basically can call paralysis. It's really, really severe. So something that you do not want your baby to get. Can I ask a random question? Yeah. Can you get, get that from Honey Nut Cheerios? I mean, serious, maybe that's a Yes, really you can. Okay. Anything that has honey in it. So no honey products at all. No, okay. great question. Next question. Colored bogeys, or boogers, as we say in America. It's not. Just that color stuff. What does it mean? Yeah. So oftentimes you can have a yellow or thick mucus when the child just wakes up in the morning, and that's okay. It usually clears away, and then it, it gets clear, and it's fine. But if a, a child continues to have thick green snot coming out of the nose for like five, six, seven days, then it's more likely that they may have some kind of bacterial infection. And then they should be seen because they may need an antibiotic at that point. All right, so green maybe means bacterial infection. Right. All right. Antibiotics. Right, so important because antibiotics are a great invention. They help to ward off so many uh, serious infections, but antibiotics only work on bacterial infections. So if you have your random cold, cough, congestion, that's a virus, Antibiotics are not going to help you. Give me a dehydration tip. So the first thing that you look for is if your child is dehydrated would be if they're not urinating or peeing often. So a young kid should have a wet diaper, a baby every four to six hours. Mm -hmm. If they're even more dehydrated than that, they may not have tears. So they're crying and they're irritable and upset, but nothing's coming out. No and tears. No tears. Signed to a little bit worried. All right, except that they're a newborn. Except that they're a newborn, correct. Because they don't have tears. They don't have tears for at least one month. Complicated. Okay, after a month, no tears, dehydrated. Right. Good tip. Tell me some foods that might be choking hazards that I haven't realized are choking hazards. Right, so especially with little or things. Foods are things. Toddlers walking around, um, actually almost anything could be a choking hazard. So have your kids sit when they're eating. That's really important. Hot dogs and uh, peanuts, grapes. You want to slice those in half mm -hmm. as hot dogs too. Popcorn could be a choking hazard. But things you may not think of, lettuce uh, can get stuck in the back of your throat. Even white bread, you know how it gets all soft and, and uh, can really stick back there and get stuck. So. Uh, no, no to the white bread. And what about balloons? I've had balloons. Balloons also. You have to be really careful of uh, those latex balloons. Uh, definitely a choking hazard for kids. Okay. Now with all of your years of experience, is there one thing I need to know? I think moms really need to trust their instincts. Um, you know, report to the doctor the things that you see if you have concerns, because a lot of times you're usually right on the money. You're right. with your child all the time. So you know your kid. You know your kid. Follow me at Rosie Pope for more useful information or go to rosiepope.com and if you have ideas for videos you want me to make, just let me know.